enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter into with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. Mm. Good evening, Mount Evil. Scripture tonight will come from the 121st number of Psalms. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Just read for you the 121st number of Psalms. May we bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we come here tonight with bowed heads and humble hearts, first of all, Lord, we want to say thank you, oh, Heavenly Father. We want to say thank you for what you've done for us thus far, oh, Lord. Oh, Father, I know that we're going through trying times right now, oh, Heavenly Father, but you said you'll never leave us nor forsake us, oh, Heavenly Father. And this is what we hold truth and hold faith in, oh, Heavenly Father. Father, we want to ask that you help us to bless this church, oh, Heavenly Father, from the pulpit to the parking lot, oh, Lord, and that you guide this church, oh, Heavenly Father, as you see fit, oh, Lord, and continue to bless us, oh, Lord, our goings and our comings, oh, Heavenly Father. And church, and Father, not only the church, we can step out of the church walls, oh, Heavenly Father, and bless those who are outside, oh, Lord. Bless those who are coming and going, oh, Heavenly Father. Bless those who are in the streets, oh, Lord, and bless everybody all over, oh, Heavenly Father. Father, we know there are those that don't see your light, oh, Heavenly Father, or know your way, oh, Lord, but we pray that you can guide them, oh, Lord. Father, we help, hope, and pray that you continue to guide us, O oh Heavenly Father, lead us, O oh Heavenly Father. And we know, O oh Heavenly Father, at the end, O oh Lord, that you will have us to be better than we were before, O oh Lord. We know that's just a minor setback right now, O oh Heavenly Father. Going through some things, O oh Heavenly Father, that you know you just, you're trying to make us to open our eyes up, O oh Heavenly Father, and understand what you're trying to tell us, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we haven't been that great, O oh Lord. We haven't done all the things that are pleasing to you, O oh Heavenly Father. We know that, O oh Heavenly Father, and we pray that you forgive us, O oh Lord. And Father, as you forgive us, O oh Heavenly Father, and we, we understand what you're doing right now, O oh Lord. We just pray and pray, O oh Lord, that we come through this 
better than when we got into it, oh, Heavenly Father. And, Lord, we love you, Lord. We have faith, oh, Heavenly Father. We have faith of the mustard seed, oh, Heavenly Father. We know that all things are only happening because it will come through you, oh, Lord. And, Father, most of all, oh, Lord, we continue to say thank you, oh, Lord. We don't have enough tongues to say thank you enough, oh, Heavenly Father, but we want to say thank you. And we hope and pray that you continue to guide us, O Heavenly Father. Thank you for your darling son who hung, bled, and died on that day, O Lord. And we know that we can't go to you unless we come through your son, O Lord. Father, continue to bless us, bless us, and bless us. And continue guiding us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 
said amen. We thank God for Brother Hill and Sister Rashonda Jones and Brother Mitchell. And hopefully we can get this, this thing together here. For all that are here and let me speak to all of you that are on Zoom and that are on Facebook Live, our media feed. To all of you, our father's children. We thank God for yet another day. We thank him for what we have already heard thus far. And let me go ahead, wherever you are, whether you're on Zoom, whether you're on Facebook, come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise so we can... We can do that. We can, we can give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I am thoroughly looking forward to listening and hearing you talk back to us as we, as we talk to you because we know without a shadow of a doubt that God has been good to each and every one of us. And that song that Brother Hill just started and just sung with us, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. I think that each and every one of us can think and thank God for all that he's done, for all of the leaders and all of you that are within the shouting voice of my voice that can hear us and can see us. We do understand and know that in spite of all, God is still an awesome God. And let me go ahead and share this with you. I love the Lord because not only has he utilized me in his service, but he's looked beyond some things that all of us have done and given us yet another opportunity. So we thank God for his matchless gift and his son, Jesus Christ. We thank him for what he has allowed us to do, even up to this far. And I, I want to talk to somebody tonight before we get started that you've been looking at CNN and MSNBC and all of this stuff, Channel 11 and all of your channels. Let me encourage you 
that you need to turn some of that stuff off sometime and give God some time to deal with us. That it should not be all about what's on the television, but we ought to sometimes just turn off all of that stuff and talk to the Lord. God is talking to How many of you know God is talking to us? Even right now, God is talking to us. He talks to us in such a way that we know that it's nobody but the Lord. So since we are here tonight making preparation to give a word from the Lord, I wanted to go ahead and encourage somebody that you have not had such a good day today, but I want you to go ahead and lift up your heads and know that God is still a good God. Somebody that haven't been feeling well today, but since you've been on your own feet at church, you feel a little bit better. Come on, talk back to me. Somebody that you wasn't feeling your best, you had stuff going all through your mind today, but God have given you even this opportunity to come back and tell him thank you. And even if he does not do anything else, somebody on this feed ought to go ahead and wave right back at me because you know that the Lord have done enough. And I'm talking to some people tonight that I know you know the Lord because God have been with us every step of the way. And I want to talk to us tonight, and as I talk to us tonight, as we get ready for our Zoom feed, whereas we are now ready to give you a word from the Lord tonight. In the book of 2 Corinthians, we want to go right back to 2 Corinthians. We want to go right back to 2 Corinthians. And as we go back to 2 Corinthians Chapter 5. It read like this. Hopefully we can get this mic done before it's over. But it read like this. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse number 7. For we walk by faith. Not by sight. We walk by faith. Not by sight. God would have me to talk to us tonight and warn us that we still don't get it. We don't get it because all of this has happened and we're still focusing on the wrong thing. And that's really what I want to talk about tonight. Uh, we are focusing on the wrong thing. God would have me to inform all of us. He would let me and allow me to hashtag you on tonight by telling you and informing us that instead of focusing on our problem, that we should be focusing on our solution. Not only should we be focusing on our solution, but that we have to realize and understand that with what we have going on as a pandemic, that CBS and NBC and ABC cannot cure what we have going on. That we ought not place our focus on CNN because as good as their commentators can be, CNN has no delivery and no deliverance for us that trust in God. Not only that, but God would have me to talk to us because all of us, I believe, I can say, have been guilty of focusing more on this virus than we have on the word of God. We are looking at this virus as if the virus has all power instead of looking at God who warns us tonight that he, all he wants is our attention. God says you still don't get it because while you are focusing on everything else, all I want from you is your attention. 
that even though you find scriptures that can fit what's going on, I don't need you to find scriptures. I know scriptures because I have inspired men to write scripture, so I know all about scripture. I don't need you to find scripture. What I need you to do is find time to spend with me. And I'm talking to somebody here tonight that we are guilty of not finding enough time. If you could put some lows in this mic so it won't kill my voice, I wish you would. Because I want you to know tonight that God wants me to let everybody know that's on this feed. That God is able to solve any and every problem that we have. And you know as well as I do, if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, that God does not show up on our time, but God shows up on his own time but he's trying to get something over to us that we ought to walk by the same faith that we talk about and not by what we see many of us are focusing on what we see and God wants us to focus on what we believe so Paul tells us as he told us in chapter 4 he lets us know in chapter 4 that we are going to be troubled on every side and some of the old sages would say if it ain't one thing it's another. So Paul says in chapter 4 about verse number 8, we're troubled on every side, but no matter how hedged in that we are in, we are yet not distressed. We get perplexed with what we are going through and I don't want to play it down because this coronavirus has caused some perplexities in our lives. It has caused some informalities in our life. Our lives are not normal as what we should know. No, that's what we call the new normal now. God says, but you're still focusing on the wrong thing. And I want to go ahead and tell somebody that you see me and I see you, that you ought to go ahead and wave right there because you know all of us are guilty that we've been focusing on the wrong thing. We are focusing on stimulus packages and we're focusing on what we can do for the church. We're focusing on not being able to come out of the house and just go down the street. We're focusing on not being able to go to the mall. We're focusing on not having a job. God says you still don't get it because you're focusing on the wrong thing. All I want you to do is realize that I'm God all by myself and when you give me the opportunity to suck with you, when you give me the opportunity to talk to you, when you sit down and put all of this craziness behind you and give me your full-fledged attention, I'm telling you, I'm I'm able to heal your land, but there are some things you have to do. Stop focusing on the wrong thing. He tells us tonight. He informs us tonight. He lets us know tonight that even, even though God wants our time, the problem is why we are focusing on executive orders while we're focusing on employment of the lack thereof while we're focusing on all of the negative God told me to tell you that he never slumbers nor sleep and he's right there with you and the same God that was with you in January is the same God that's with you April the 1st. He informs us and lets us know when we walk by this faith that we talk about then we understand that God is still on the throne. Watch this, check this out. I saw something when I looked at this particular text. I'm going to give you three things. I'm going to get out of, your, out of your hair, let you go back to your regular schedule programs. But I want to go ahead and tell you that when we walk by faith, it means that we have to regulate our lives and conduct ourselves by our own conviction. And when we regulate ourselves and conduct 
ourselves by our own conviction then our belief system kicks in and we stop talking about walking by faith and we start living walking by faith let me go ahead and drop this in your laps for free it's all right for a lesson to be learned but it's better when the lesson can be lived because I can learn a lesson and still not live a lesson but when I know that God is all that I need and God is all that I have I don't want to just learn a lesson I want to live a lesson somebody here tonight that, 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 that you're looking at me tonight and I want to let you know that when he says we walk by faith he, he's talking about a relationship with him that the belief that man has in the respectability to a God that sees everything because he's omnipresent when you have a relationship with a God that's omnipotent which means that he has all power God says when you enter a relationship with me because I'm omniscient which means I know everything the good the bad and the ugly when you enter into a relationship with God then the divine things start to kick in and that's when folk don't understand why we can still shout in the midst of a pandemic why we can still hold up holy hands why I can preach on a Wednesday night with only five to six people in the house but another hundred folk on the feed the reason why because this preaching that I'm preaching is not of me but it's by the Holy Spirit because God places a treasure in the vessel that because of what I believe I can shout to the top of my lungs no matter if the house is empty or if the house is full because God is still the same God so we have to understand and we have to believe in this relationship that we walk by faith and not by the appearance of sight and I'm frightened tonight that many of us are walking by sight rather than by faith and that's why so many of you put so much stuff that you don't know is real or not real we put so much stuff on social media because we see stuff that come through we read this mess that's, that's not true and we fictitiously put it on social media as if it's the gospel. And I want to go ahead and let you know that's walking by sight. But sometimes you need to step out on the faith that you've been singing about. Let me go ahead and tell you, church is not just the building. But sometimes you have to have church where you are. And since you're at the house right now, you ought to go ahead and have church where you are. You ought to not mind clapping right now. You ought to not mind waving right now. You ought to not mind shouting right now. Since you got dressed to Come to church, you ought to already have some church. Well, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. He says, We walk in this faith. And, and watch this faith. Faith has three components. Faith has a component of belief. And because I believe in the Lord. I can walk with my head up even though I know the COVID-19 is all around. It, it, it has a component of trust that I can trust in the Lord with all that I have because God has never failed me yet. And I wish I had about 30 of you on this feed that I can see that will tell me that God has never failed, never failed you yet. And not only can I walk by the belief, walk by the trust, but I walk in the confidence of knowing that while I'm here in this body, I'm here and I'm absent from the Lord. But if the Lord happened to take me, I want to let you know more folk going to die outside of the COVID virus than we're inside of it. But no matter where I go, one thing I say for sure, I know where I'm going to end up. And let me go ahead and tell you why we're being frightened 
of what's taking place with the COVID virus. We ought to be frightened by how we treat the Lord without a virus. Because he lets us know that not only should we be concerned with walking by faith. But Paul, in this text, he talks to us on a confident level. You, you know Paul. Paul, the same one that used to drag folk that was on their way to church. That used to kill folk. Had a law, had a degree, had everything passed that he was able to drag folk out of church. The same Paul. You know Paul. Paul, whose name was Saul, the one who was kicking against the bricks. You know Sorry, Saul, sorry, Saul has now become powerful, Paul. And Paul now says, I'm in love under new management. In other words, I was serving Satan back then. And let me go ahead and pause right there because I want to get your mind off the virus a little bit and put your mind and focus on the law. If God has brought us from a mighty long way, then we are not mind praising him for his goodness and his mercy and i wish i had about 50 folk that admit to me that you know you should have been dead sleeping in your grave but the lord made old death behave somebody ought to admit that you know you should have been in jail you know you should not have the job that you have but god have taken care of you and surely if he can take care of you then he's the same god that can take care of you now. But Paul is in confidence because he lets us know that he walks in confidence because of who he knows. And I wish I had somebody tonight that even where you are, you can shout because of who you know. That the reason why you shout is not because you've been so good. But you shout because God have been good to you. And if the Lord have been good to you, you ought to go ahead and make some noise right there. If the Lord have been good to you, you ought to go ahead on your Facebook live feed and let me know he's been good to you. If the Lord have been good to you, you ought to go to your chat on your Zoom and let me know he's been good to you. Well, I come by just to let you know how good God has been. He's been so good to me. He's been so good that I don't have the time to tell everything the Lord has done. But what I will tell you that somebody ought to lift up holy hands and tell the Lord thank you because he's been that kind of God. Isn't that right? My God has taken care of me, not some of the way, but every step of the way. And since God has been good to you, you ought to not mind telling the Lord thank you. And if you cannot tell him thank you on the Zoom feed, you ought to tell him thank you on the Facebook live theme. And I come by to tell you on my way to the house that the same God that's been with with us uh, every step of the way uh, he he, uh, he is uh, the same God uh, that's with us right now uh, and I come by to tell somebody that we ought to be confident uh, because the Lord uh, has been good uh, and Paul had the confidence uh, and since we walk by faith uh, we must walk by faith uh, and believe what we walk in uh, and since we walk by faith, uh, we ought to have our focus.
focus uh, in the right place uh, and on the right thing. Uh, I'll come by to tell you tonight uh, there ought to be somebody. Is there anybody uh, in the house tonight uh, that can say we walk by faith uh, and since we walk by faith uh, we don't mind uh, shouting hallelujah. I wish I had somebody that you know like I know uh, that God has uh, been good to you uh, and since the Lord has uh, been good to you uh, you don't mind uh, saying yes Lord uh, to your will uh, yes Lord uh, to your way uh, if the Lord uh, has been good to you uh, you ought to not mind uh, walking by faith uh, I heard Paul say uh, I know this earthly body of this old tabernacle uh, will soon dissolve uh, but I'm not worried uh, because I have somewhere to go uh, when you junk this old body uh, in the graveyard uh, I have confidence uh, because I trust in God uh, and he will make a way uh, I don't mind uh, if I have to check out of here because I know uh, where I end up uh, so while I'm in uh, this old body uh, I'm confident uh, but I'm absent from the Lord uh, but one of these old days uh, and it may not be by the coronavirus uh, the Lord may see me through uh, but one day uh, he'll take me home uh, to be with him uh, so my focus tonight uh, is on the Lord uh, is there anybody in the house tonight uh, that your focus is on the Lord uh, if your focus uh, is on the Lord uh, you ought to light up uh, the Facebook live uh, and tell the preacher that my focus uh, is on the Lord uh, I got to tell you now uh, how I know uh, that my focus is on the Lord uh, because when Paul uh, had a courage uh, he said I want you to know uh, I have a destination uh, but I have a motivation uh, and in my destination uh, and my motivation uh, the Holy Spirit uh, kicks in uh, and is no more me uh, but it's the spirit uh, that lives on the inside uh, and I wish I had somebody that will practice what you preach uh, been walking around here to, talking about you trusting God uh, away is your trust now uh, that you know God is good uh, let me go ahead and tell you he's still good uh, and he's good to the last drop uh, I got to leave you uh, but I want to tell you something uh, that when you walk uh, through the trials of life uh, you don't mind uh, having the trials uh, and your tribulations uh, because the God that I serve uh, he's able uh, I say in the evil uh, the God that I serve uh, he's able uh, to do whatever he want to do uh, the God that I serve uh, he's an awesome God uh, is there anybody here that knows God is awesome uh, I come by to tell you uh, the reason why uh, I can continue to shout uh, because I really uh, put my trust in God uh, and when I put my trust in God I come by to tell you that Paul told me to let you know whenever you have courage over your conflict God will be right there in the middle I got faith and since I have faith I'm a walking faith is there anybody here that don't mind walking in faith I'm a walking faith I'm a keep on walking uh, and the reason I walk in faith uh, I'm a soldier and I'm on the battlefield uh, and every now and then uh, the Lord tell you to stop marching uh, and just mark time uh, I'm telling somebody the coronavirus uh, is just marking time uh, I'm gonna tell you tonight uh, the COVID-19 uh, is just marking in time uh, they call it uh, stay at home. I 
call it a stay on the battlefield. They call it an executive order. But I call it God's decree. And I come by to tell you why I'm able to keep on walking up the King's Highway. Because my God has been good to me. And the Lord been good to you. I come by to tell you no wonder Paul says I'm focused on the right thing and in the right place and since I'm focused on the right thing since I'm focused in the right place then I realize for I know in all these things we are more than conquerors and since we are I am persuaded that neither death or life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things that are present or things that are to come nor higher nor death yes I am nor any other man made creature because I know they cannot separate me from the love of an all wise God is there anybody here on my way to Calvary anybody here that love my Calvary anybody here that knows he's alright do you believe in him is there anybody that knows who he is he is my elder brother he is James and you big brother he is a lily of the valley he is my way over he is my way under he is my way through ain't it all right I say ain't it all right ain't it all right ain't it all right y'all ain't it all right yeah ain't it all right and then I say on my way to my seat I gotta close up my hymn books and Bibles to study one no more but I come by to tell you one of these days when it's all over somebody will not see me again and you gonna say we lost Pastor Miller but I come by to tell you I'm not lost because on the other side I have the confidence on the other side my focus is on high because Jesus he died didn't he die died to the whole world reeled in rock like a drunken man died sure enough died but right early I say right early right early yeah ain't it all right is there anybody here so long bye bye tell the lord thank you lord tell the lord thank you sir tell the lord you've been good to me tell the lord i got my focus back my focus is not on the virus but my focus is on you lord say yeah Say, say, ah, 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 ain't it all right? Ain't it all right? I, 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 say, yeah, say, yeah, say, yeah, say, yeah, ah, ah, I know he's all right. I know he's all right. Let me.
Let me say this to us. Don't focus on the wrong thing. Because God is able. And I'm talking to someone out there that you know that God has been good to you. Tonight may be your night. That you're not a member of any church. Tonight might be your night that I'm reaching you through social media. If you just comment in the social media feed. Pastor, I would love to be a member of that church. And I would like to come and partner with you. As we talk about a risen Savior. I'm in between church homes right now, but I know I need covering. In the midst of pneumonia, in the midst of COVID-19, everybody need a church home. And if you don't have one, why not make us your home. Those of us that are already saved, already have a church home, everything's going well. Let me encourage you tonight. This is just a pit stop in life before we get back on the track. And when you know what you know, and you know you belong to him, He'll let you know you're his own. And, and then you can, you can shout with me and say the joy that we share as we tarry there. None other has ever has ever known Right there at home where you are. Come on, help me. Come on, y'all. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still The roses and the voice I falling on my The son of a God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he takes me out his own and the joy we share as we tear, there, 
none other has ever Our invitation to extend, let me, let me thank Mount Hebron, especially our preachers. Let me thank you for getting dressed for church tonight. That I know that it may seem crazy to get dressed up when you're at home. But anytime we come in the presence of the Lord's service, we are not mind dressing up. I, I saw you, I saw you, I saw you. I want to thank Mount Hebron as a whole. I want to thank these that came tonight, that we are sitting over six feet apart. We are complying with the mandate of the team. And I want to let you know, just because you packed the service, don't mean you are impacting God. But we are trying to do everything we can by leading and letting folk know that if the church can practice social distancing, then so can you. Nurses, ushers, thank you for dressing up tonight. And to all of the members of the Mount Hebron Church, I thank God for you. To all of our visitors, all that chimed in on Zoom, all that joined in on Facebook Live, I want to let you know tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. we will have corporate prayer. If you're interested in joining in with us with corporate prayer and you are not a member of the church, just send us a comment and we'll make sure we get in touch with you to come in and let you join in with us. Corporate prayer tomorrow night at 730. Again, may God bless you. May God keep you. Those of us that have not paid our tithes, have not given our offering. If you don't know how to use Givelify, all you have to do is come and place it inside of the mail slot. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow between 10 and 2. That you can bring your tithes and your offerings. Those that know how to use Givelify and have been using Givelify on a regular basis, we thank God for you. Those of you that would like a CD or DVD of last Sunday's worship service, if you would send us your information or call 713-733-9170. Seven three three nine one seven zero. If you know a senior that need a CD or DVD, please call that number and let us know. If you know of a senior that cannot get out of their house and they need someone to go to the grocery store for them, they need someone to bring them something to eat, would you please dial this number, 713-733-9170. So that we can get food to them. We don't want anyone left behind. If you have children that need tutoring, dial this number. 713-733-9170. If you're having a very distressful time, anxiety and depression is setting in, call this number. 713-733-9170. 9170. Let us know what your need is. We'll do our best to help you. Again, may God bless you. May God keep you. Is our prayer as we close with this benediction. Let everyone in the house stand as we get ready to close out. Oh God, how we thank you. We thank you for these that are here tonight. Thank you for our minister of music. Thank you for our video ministry. Thank you for this production team. Thank you for our deacon. We thank you for all that are here. All that had something to do with this media feed, the streaming, 
this production from the utmost to wherever you are right now. God, may you continue to bless us. May you continue to show us what you have for us. Speak to us, Lord. Speak to us like you've never spoken to us before. Lord, we'll be so careful to give you all the praise. Speak to us, Lord. Let us know what you want us to do. Help us to spend time with you. Lord, we get it now. Lord, we got it now. Lord, we gonna put our focus on the right thing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Come on, Lord. Help us close it out. Come on, you can sing it from there. God have spoken. So let the church say amen. I love you. I love each and every one of you. May God bless you. May God keep you is our prayer. We're signing off now. Have a blessed night.